Welcome back, everybody. Um, I don't know what today is. Maybe I should look. And I'm um, just breaking out the old phone because it is oil change time. So it's August 24th. And anybody that's followed along, um, <laughs> this is my poor spider. Um, you're going to see a ton of corrosion on it and be like, oh my goodness, what are you doing with your spider? Well, you know, it gets written all year long. Um, and the people that have followed along uh, know that the motor and transmission has been out in this thing twice. Um, so the newest developments, and I don't know what this is. I don't know if it's going to pick up. Come on, focus there, phony. I have some type of staining on this crossbar, but there's nothing above it to leak on it. I don't know what it is. And then, look at that. Right here. So I noticed that. I went ahead and I pulled it out. Now I set it back in there because that's where I found it. And where it goes, there's the alternator. Oh, look at this. Here's an air box. And uh, that bolts right to the alternator and I'm missing the bolt nut. And I hate to get particular and, and, and crappy about shops, but my goodness, man, when is when am I going to find a shop that knows how to tighten nuts and bolts? That's the simple stuff. Nuts and bolts are simple. We'll see. So today, it's not a how do we change the oil on a Can-Am Spider F3. It is, hey, at 64,000 miles, when I pull the drain plug out of this transmission side, um, am I going to have metal on the, on the drain plug? So that's all I'm doing today. Let's go ahead and put this in wide. And um, it's going to be a super quick video, and this is more just documentation for myself. Um, but I do have, I don't know, 64,000 some odd miles. 64,425.4 miles. So, all right, let's get to it. Um, super easy, really quick. Let me, you have your oil filter. It's a cartridge filter. It drops right in. You have a drain plug on this side for the transmission. You got a drain plug on the other side for the motor. Um, this time around, I'm actually using EXP can and brp oil the only reason i'm using that instead of the normal lucas is i got a super sweet deal on prime days through amazon um, the only thing that's been in this is either when the factory changes it they or when the dealer changes it they always use the xps um, and then when i change it it's always lucas so it's the only two oils it's ever had in it that being said it's time to get busy i'm, I'm very curious to see if uh we got metal on the drain plug this time around so I'll be back. All right. Oh, shaky. I'm waiting for my wife to uh, buy me a garage. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if she's going to. I don't think she likes me that well, to be honest with you. So I'm out in the yard once again. Oh, I'm curious. What's it gonna look like? Wow. Where are we at? Where are we at? There we are. There we go. That's a little disappointing. I don't know what's held this motor together, to be honest with you. That is crazy disappointing. All right, we are recording. Okay, so I'm done with the oil change. I'm a little disappointed that, you know, another bolt and nuts flown off my spider. Um, you know, as a technician for many years, um, you know, accidents happen, but my goodness, how many mistakes do you have to have on one vehicle? Um, and, you know, it hasn't been a year yet, and I've put many miles on it, but still, um, that was a lock bolt. It had plastic. Oh, so I don't know. 
so I did the oil change and what I recommend anytime you're working on your spider doing anything um, related that you can look at other things I really recommend it so um, I went to the other side pulled the drain plug and as the the oil was draining I was like you know I, I got that BRP belt tensioner you know it, it was damaged when uh, the transmission was put in wrong I, I should probably go take a look at it okay so I'm gonna put this on wide and you're gonna have to excuse my working conditions my wife doesn't love me enough to buy me a garage or at least that's what I'm, I'm telling myself so this is a BRP belt tensioner um, it's really not a it doesn't put a lot of tension on the belt it just keeps the harmonics from the belt um, out of the spider so this is what it looks like mine has been on for I don't know a year plus so I put my hand in there and it just flopped it literally just flopped boom Look. the spring has broken and we're not gonna be able to see it but the spring that puts tension on there has broke so and then the damage that was done you can see the damage that was done when uh, the belt was rubbing across it and then I was like well you know I'm just gonna take it off I don't I don't want this thing just back there flopping on the belt you know it's just doing this on top of the belt blah 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 um, well and I don't know if I'm gonna be able to pick it up but look at that bearing has separated from the roller now I don't know if that's caused from the damage from the belt or the damage from the broken spring but I can say this if this would have come apart we're talking it's going to cut the belt and you're going to be dead in the water so i know the monster has uh talked about a um a different bearing that he puts in one a little bit bigger you know if you're running a factory brp belt tensioner uh you're not checking it every three months or so um i think i'd start and i think i would replace that with the monster's big bearing um but yeah, that's my tensioner, and I'm going to take this $40 tensioner, and I'm going to chuck it. And uh, I'm not putting one back on, I don't think, for now. I'm just going to, you know, I, I got 64,000 miles on this Spider, and I love my Spider F3. And I, I don't know if she's talking to me yet about replacing, um, but, you know, I'm tired of stuff falling off of it. Um, I'm tired of metal on the drain plug. I, I don't know how catastrophic it could be. Uh, besides that this thing has been a trooper I've had more issues with technicians that have touched it than I have with the actual spider um, and that's sad but it, it does get frustrating after a while um, this video is not meant to be a rant by any means so um, you know what I'm gonna do is I'm putting my spider back together I'm washing my dirty greasy hands and uh, I'm going for a ride and that's all I'm gonna say about that and uh, for now belt tensioner is not going back on hopefully in the next two days I can get front pads rear pads and then I wanted to get the tire done today but my local garage is shut down um, and there's some changes coming to the house um, I'm not a last time this happened I wasn't allowed to say anything about it um, I don't know if it's still radio silence or not so I'm not gonna say anything but big changes are coming I wanted to get out this next weekend um, I think I'm gonna be able to get out but I won't be on the spider once I'm allowed to talk about it I will and uh, you know a, a disappointing oil change nonetheless um, I'm, I'm gonna pull up my big boy pants and uh, I'm gonna go for a ride and maybe I'll call a shop and just discuss with them you know the the metal on there and if I can email that picture to them you know see what they say but you know we're out of warranty um, man I don't know I don't know so I'll, I'll put some pictures in there and this is my spider 64,000 miles on it ridden all year round you're gonna see some corrosion issues I need to pull my pegs off um, sandblast them and coat them again but uh, besides that you know she's holding up okay I guess I love my F3. Love it. So I need to stop talking so I can get out and go riding. Stay safe, everybody. If you got that factory tensioner, I'd be checking that thing. Um, any signs of that bearing separating, I'd get it off of there. That belt's expensive. If you don't know how to change it yourself, I'm assuming it's going to be a $500 bill at the dealer. Um, stay safe, everybody. I'll see you in, I don't know, down the road probably.